All right, hey guys, this is John. Hey, in my in my last video, you, you guys see me uh, clean my bowling ball um, without a plastic container. And in my YouTube video, in, in, in my comments on my YouTube channel about my new ball spinner, a lot of you guys asked me about getting a, a, um, a plastic container like this to put my um, ball spinner in. So if it ever, if it ever uh, leaks or spills like around, uh, it won't make a mess, but it'll keep it inside here. And so, um, anyways, uh, I was uh, I was thinking how I can do it, and I was trying to find the right size, but I think I found it because I, cause I, I have everything in here that I need. Everything is in here. And um, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what's, I'm going to show you what's in here. And then, and then after that, I'll show you how I clean my, uh, Wuppercon UC3 Boing Ball. And so, hope you guys enjoy. So, here we go. Right, um, hey guys, this is John. Hey, in my last video, um, I showed you out of the box and I showed you how I polish a Boing Ball, uh, clean it and polish it on, on my ball spinner. And I got a lot of comments on my YouTube channel about that first video about, oh, Johnny, you should put it in a plastic container. So if it, if it spills, if it, cause you, the, the, the machine spins and I said, okay. And so, um, I was trying to find the white, uh, I was trying to find the white plastic container to put it in. And I was going to go buy one tomorrow, but I found this one in my storage a storage closet at my apartment complex and it and it's the perfect size check this out you guys it's the perfect size in here i have my um i have my spray bottle with water i have a towel i have a, a towel and another towel for for um polishing i have um a polish cleaner in here I have another polish cleaner that I use, uh, um, a cleaner that I use. But I, but right now, you guys, I use this uh, Wow Factor from Clean a Difference for my bone mold to clean, and it's amazing. And I have two of them. I have two of them. Okay, and then I also use, uh, I have the five inch, uh, five inch uh, uh, true cut sending pads over on this side. I have all of them from, from 500 to, um, to 500D. And then over here, you guys, I have, I have the 80, the, uh, the 120, the 220, and I also have all the, from 500, sorry, to five, yeah, to 500 to um, 500D of the six, uh, six inch sending pads. And then I have some, uh, and then I also have some towels that I use to clean off the boing balls. And so this is, so this, this is my setup, you guys, and I'm gonna show you a whole cleaning process in my container because you guys want me to use a container to keep the, all the messes in. So uh, tell me what you think. All right, here we go, guys. All right, hey guys. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how I clean it. I'll clean my um, uh, Rupa, uh, my Rupacon UC3 uh, boring ball from Motive Grip. And so I, I have it now in this uh, in a plastic container with my ball spinner. And I'm gonna show you how I how I how I cleaned it, how I clean it, and how I put uh, surface on it to make it do what I want to do um, every time that I go bowl. And uh, I try to keep it at um, a thousand true cut grit because that's what it's really out of the factory. And um, now with this ball spinner, it makes it a true a true um, 
a true thousand um, surface. So the first thing the first thing I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna get my cleaner from um, that's well factor from creating a difference. Okay, and then I'm gonna spray it. Okay, put that back over there. Okay, now I get my towel. Okay, and then I'm going to turn the machine. Wow, you guys, it's so much better in here. And, and this container, less, uh, there's less shaking. And my table's still shaking, but not as much as, as before. Okay, now I'm going to spin it the other way, so upside down. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it again with the clean roof. Okay, I'm gonna put the cap back on. Okay, and then put it over here. Get my towel, wait for a second, put it on. Turn it on. Okay. Now shut it off. Okay, now I'm done with that. Okay, so now I go back to normal. I go back to normal. Go back to normal. Now let's find a thousand grit. A thousand grit. A thousand grit from um, True Cut, uh, creating a difference. Uh, uh, um, a six inch grit surface. The best grit ever for putting surface running on your ball, you guys. This is the best product ever of bowling today. So then you get your towel. Then you get your towel, okay. Then you leave it, then you put it there. And you spray it. Oh, oh here. Let's spray it first. Put it there. This you get your towel, spray it. Oops. Ah, oh, there we go. So spray it on so it's nice and wet. Okay, now you get this side like this. You put it on here and you go um, up, down, up, down. And I do all four sides. Okay. That do. And now do the uh, the bottom. Oh, grab a damn thing. Grab the other towel, the other hand, put it on new like this. Turn the machine on. Now 
man, you guys, I truly love this box because it's so much, so much. Okay, let's so cut it off. Okay, now that's done. Now you do on the leather side. Okay, you spray it again. Grab it, put it on. side so this other side okay now it's nice and wet now you put it on done okay and now after it's done after it's done then go over here on the set of table and smack it and get all of the extra stuff off of it and now it's ready to use again so it goes right there that goes no still yeah that goes there now, go back to normal. The cleaner. Okay, get the cleaner. Get your towel. Wait for a second. Put it on the machine. <coughs> One more time, flip it. Clean it again. Of the of the well factor from cleaner difference, best cleaner ever, you guys. Okay, put that back on. That right there. That right there. Get your towel. Right in the ball, on the machine. Ah, you guys, this is so much easier. Okay, shut it off. Okay, shut it off. Then grab your ball. And then do it one more time cleaning it. And now, and now, and now it's clean again. Listen, tacky, you guys. So I just put, I, so this is how I do my uh, Rupert Con UC3. Um, I'll show you how I do the other boy balls in time. But I was going to show you how I do it in, in this environment like I have here today. So if you enjoy this, uh, please like, share, comment on my channel. Uh, press that uh, subscribe button um, um, to all so when this video gets posted you guys will know about it on 
YouTube app on the notifications. And thank you all so much for for telling me about this, about getting the container for my ball spinner. Um, I really see the difference. It's uh, not shaking as much. And so I hope you guys enjoy this. All right, guys, bye for now. And then, and then, guys, when, uh, when I'm ready, to, when I'm ready to uh, put it away, that goes there. Hey, okay. and I do. Oops, and I do this. And I do this, just like that. And then, then I get my lid. And I get my lid. I'm going to ready to put it away and I get my lid. And that's how, and now I can pick it up and, and, and move it to the floor if I need to. And that's how I store it, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, bye for now.